Hi everybody, welcome back to Brightwoods. Hi. We'll start with our hello song again. Are you ready? Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Mr Owl? Hello Mr Owl, how are you? Hello Mr Owl, how are you? Hello Mr Owl, how are you? How are you today? And Mr Mole? Hello Mr Mole, how are you? Hello Mr Mole, how are you? Hello Mr Mole, how are you? How are you today? And our forest. Hello forest, how are you? Hello forest, how are you? Hello forest, how are you? How are you today? A little bit of winter. I'll miss you, said Rabbit. Will you miss me? No, said Hedgehog. I'll miss you, Rabbit. I know, said Hedgehog. You've just told me. You're forgetful, said Hedgehog. Forgetful, said Rabbit. If you were not, said Hedgehog, you would remember while I'll not miss you. Remind me, said Rabbit. I'll be asleep, said Hedgehog. And you don't miss friends when you're asleep. Hedgehog picked up a little sharp stone and walked the tree. Rabbit ate a green leaf, a little green grass, and then a dandelion leaf, and then some clover. Hedgehog wrote a message on the bark. Dear Rabbit, please save me a little bit of winter for when I wake up. Love, Hedgehog. Rabbit, said Hedgehog, there's something I want you to do for me. It'll be hard for an animal who's so full of forget, so I've written you a message to remind you. I want you to save me a little bit of winter. Well, why, said Rabbit. I want to know what winter feels like, said Hedgehog. Winter is hard and white, said Rabbit. Winter is cold. But what's cold, said Hedgehog. I'm cold now, cold and... <gasps> oh, sleepy, he yawned. Rabbit prodded his friend. Ouch, he cried. Rabbit, said Hedgehog, it's time to me find somewhere warm to spend the winter. Rabbit sucked his paw. I'll miss you, he said. Winter was bad that year. Snow fell, the lake turned to ice. Rabbit was warm in his burrow, but he was also hungry. That's the trouble with winter, said Rabbit as he hopped outside. The, cold, the colder it is, the more food I want. He looked around. And the colder it is, the less food I find. There's no green grass. There's no pink clover. Rabbit had to make do with brown. Brown leaves, brown bark, brown acorn. When Rabbit saw the words on the tree, he dropped his acorn in surprise. The acorn rolled. It gathered snow and it turned from into a small snowball. Rabbit rest the message. Oh dear, he said, a little bit of what? The wind blew ice cold. Rabbit looked down at the snow mall and remembered. Oh, a little bit of winter, he said. Rabbit rolled the snowball over the snow and it grew bigger and bigger. Rabbit wrapped the snowball in leaves. That'll keep the warm out and keep the cold in, said Rabbit. Then I shall store it underground. Spring came, the sun shone, the soil melted, and the lake turned back to water. Hedgehog woke up. <gasps> Hedgehog, said Rabbit. Rabbit, said Hedgehog. Oh, Rabbit, said Hedgehog, you've eaten winter. No, said Rabbit, I ate the bark. Winter I have saved. It's in my burrow. I shall fetch it for you. Hedgehog poked at the soft brown ball. You told me that winter was hot and white, he said, and cold, he said. Just wait, said Rabbit, and he pulled off the leaves one by one. Hedgehog stared at the snowball. It looked like winter. Hedgehog sniffed the snowball. It smelt like winter. Hedgehog grasped the snowball in two paws. <gasps> Ouch! 
he cried. It bit me. That, said Rabbit, is what winter feels like. Thank you for remembering, said Hedgehog. I remembered because I missed you, said Rabbit. Did you miss me? Hedgehog sighed. Oh, Rabbit, he said. Hi, everyone. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the story of um, a little bit of winter that we had, uh, that we, I read earlier. Um, I've woken up today and it's snowing. We have loads of snow. <laughs> so, just like Rabbit did, we could make a nice big ball of snow and maybe hide it and see how long we could keep it. But in case you don't have any snow when you're watching this, I thought we'd have a go at making our own snow. Just let the car go past. So we're going to make a little bit of snow. You're going to need some ingredients for this and I think you might quite like it. Right, so for our snow, you might want some warm gloves. You're going to need a nice big bag. This has had my sliced bread in it. I've got this. You're going to need some double cream or if you're allergic to cream you might want to try some oatly yogurt. Okay this one works quite well as well. So I've got those. You're going to need some little bags. So these can be Ziploc ones that you can get in and out of or they can be just small bags that you can tie a knot in and cut open. So I've got some Ziploc bags. I've got one labelled cream and one labelled oat. You are going to need a little bit of salt my nice owl salt me shaker there. You're going to need... Oh, that's cold! Some ice! Maybe you can get some from the freezer or if you're lucky you might even find some outside and need quite a bit of that. And then you can, if you like, have some flavouring. So I've got a little bit of vanilla essence to go in mine and you might choose to add a little bit of sugar as well if you want it a little bit sweeter. So here's what you're going to need to do first job is to put first job is to put your ice into your big bag like that with a good oh teaspoon or so full of salt you might need to add more as you go so I put a little bit in there already I'm just gonna add some more make sure it all goes inside and that's going to help because what that salt's going to do is it's going to start to make our ice melt but as the ice melts it makes it colder okay. so we've got salty ice in there we don't want to, that to touch our other ingredients so i'm going to take my oat bag next and i'm going to put my oat yogurt in there now you don't want to put too much in because it makes your job ever so hot, much harder so I'm going to go for three big spoonfuls, I think. I can manage this. That's one, two, three, or well, maybe one more. Four big spoonfuls of Oatly go in there. Yummy, yummy. Oh, Rita's going past now. And then with my cream one, I'm going to put, let's see, I think I've got about 100ml of cream left in my cream tops. Look, yeah, there's about 100ml in there, so I'm going to pour that in there. That's double cream, yum. Lovely, that's gone in there like that. And then I can add some flavouring, so I'm going to put a tiny bit of sugar in. Just a little bit, not too much. It's Fred making noises in the background. He wants to be on video. And then a little bit of oh, vanilla essence if I can get it open. Otherwise, I might add that after I've made it. I can't open that at the minute. Oh, I can. Yes. There we go. 
a little bit of vanilla goes in. Oh, that's trickled all over the outside. <laughs> a little bit in the cream bag. Lovely. Nice vanilla flavoured ice cream here. Right, so then what we do is we give them, make sure they're sealed like that and they go into the big bag with the ice. Make sure that one's sealed and that goes in there. Now, what we need to do next is make it turn into our little bit of winter or some ice cream. So, this is where you might want to put your gloves on. Of course, this is a chilly job. And if you're doing it inside, you might want to even wrap it in a towel. I'm going to take my bag now with my glove. And I'm going to spend some time rubbing it. Can you see? And this is where it's good if there's a few of you because you can take it in turns. In a, I've got a tea towel here. You can wrap it in a towel because it gets ever so cold. Like that. You put your gloves on. And you're going to need to keep doing this for quite a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up my video so you're not watching me doing this the whole time. All right. So. I'll do a bit of speedy work, speedy work and then we'll let you see how it, what happens. So I've been rubbing my bag now for about five minutes and I can feel that this Oti one is starting to thicken up. It's getting little ice crystals in it. My cream one is going as well but still has a little way to go. So I think since I've got so much snow around me, I'm going to add some snow into the bag. So you might fancy putting in an extra few cubes, probably the more cubes the better you've got. And a little bit more salt. Another teaspoon gone in there. If we can get this speeded up, it's quite chilly out here. I want to go inside in the warmth and have a hot chocolate with the fire. What you should start to see is the salt should be melting the ice, so you should get a pool of water in the bottom. If you're not getting that pool of water, you might want to add a touch more salt. You might want to add a bit more ice, speed it up a bit. I think it's going now. Right, let's see. Let's see if we've got something close to ice cream now. When we come to do this, oh yeah. When you come to do this, you have to be careful because the outside of the bag is covered in salt and you don't really want the salt in your um in your ice cream bowl, so give it a good write down and get rid of any salt. And then get your spoon and a bowl. Take my gloves off for this bit. Oh, oh yeah, we've got lovely ice crystal bits in here. Now we have some ever so delicious frozen oaty yoghurt. Mm. Oh, can't get up my spoon. Lovely. There, can you see some nice thick frozen yoghurt? Mmm, delicious. And then we'll test the cream out. Is that set enough? So again, make sure you give it a wipe. Mm, this one's a bit thin still. We could do with a little bit more. We'll give it a wipe. 
making sure you're not getting any, any of the salt from the outside on it. Get my spoon again. Well, this definitely could have been done with a bit longer, I think. Not quite suitable for a ice cream corn, but it's certainly got some nice thick mm. delicious ice cream. Do you know what? I think that if Hedgehog woke up from his winter hibernation and tasted this as a little bit of winter, mm, he might never want to sleep again. Well, I hope you have fun. If you give it a go, do send us some pictures. We'd love to see them. See you later. Bye.